His name was Geralt of Rivia. He was a witcher, a professional monster slayer. An unusual contract to lift the curse that held a monarch's daughter. It was enough to spend the night with the princess, dusk till dawn. If only she were not a deadly beast, a stringer. The traitor responsible for the curse became the bait.
Gravely wounded, the Witcher lifted the curse and gained fame. The world changed with the coming of the Great War, the time of the sword and axe, the time of disdain. Geralt of Rivia disappeared, all but forgotten. But that's another story. Hello everybody and welcome to Let's Play The Witcher! Yes, it's this time of the year again, we are starting a brand new Let's Play on this channel. And this is actually a special occasion because after two years of Bioware, namely Dragon Age and uh, Mass Effect, we are finally starting something entirely different. Um, and yes, uh, The Witcher has been the most recommended and the most requested game on my channel for quite some time. Um, not that there haven't been other recommendations, but I think the majority of people uh, wanted me to play this, well, the whole trilogy, as a matter of fact. And I actually wanted to play it myself for quite some time, so this is as good a time as any to start this. And yes, as you can see, I'm playing the first Witcher game. A few people uh, suggested that I may want to skip this one. But I, I don't skip stuff, you know, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to do it right and I'm going to start it from from the beginning. So here we are and yeah, we had this little, oh well, not really little, it was actually quite long uh, cutscene at the beginning of the game. I didn't expect that to happen, I actually had to restart the game and, you know, start my recording software so that I actually uh, get that uh, cutscene at the beginning. So um, yeah, that was pretty <laughs> interesting. And apparently um, I am going to play some sort of monster hunter. That's cool. I can I can totally work with that. So monster hunter it is. Um, other than that I don't really know much about this game and uh, since it's a blind let's play I would like to keep it like that. So as usual please no spoilers in the comment section or if you want to discuss something spoilery uh, with other people, put it under a spoiler shield so that I don't actually see the comment. Um, yeah, um, I don't think there's really much else that I have to say about this. Uh, it, it's kind of interesting that the opinions on this game seem to be quite diverse. Some people really love it and some people really hate it. <laughs> uh, I suspect that the truth is probably somewhere in between and I'm about to find out myself. And, I mean, f for everyone who is new to my channel and maybe, you know, came across this video and wants me to follow playing this game, let me say maybe one or two things. First of all, like I said, it's blind. Um, secondly, I am going to play the full trilogy. So, uh, The Witcher 2 and The Witcher 3 are coming up as well. And, 
Well, I usually like to think that I'm pretty thorough when I play a game. I am sort of a completionist and I try to find everything that is uh, there to be found, which doesn't mean that I don't sometimes miss stuff, but I'm trying to find everything. <laughs> um, however, I don't want to bore you with stuff that isn't interesting to watch. So I'm known to edit my episodes occasionally. I don't really know what to expect in this game. You know, RPGs can sometimes, you know, be a bit grindy and have side quests that aren't really interesting and just involve running around and fetching stuff or backtracking or random encounters or whatnot. And, um, you know, occasionally I do edit some stuff. So just because I'm a completionist doesn't mean that I'm going to subject you to absolutely every minute of this Let's Play. Uh, you know, like I cut the planet exploration in Mass Effect 1 where you just drove around finding minerals or stuff like that. Um, yeah, I think my options are hopefully uh, configured correctly. I may need to fill around with the sound a little bit once the game has started to get the levels right. But um, as far as everything else is concerned, I think we're ready to go. So let's start a new game, right? Select game mode. Play the Witcher. Venture through a dark world where there is no good and evil, just choices and their consequences. Okay. Play one of the new adventures, each of which tells a singular story based on the world and characters of the Witcher. Um. No, I think I want to play the Witcher, <laughs> so let's do this. Select difficulty. Uh, for novice gamers, combat is easier, alchemy is not required to survive. Intermediate level recommended for most gamers, combat is challenging, alchemy is useful. For advanced gamers, combat is difficult, alchemy is required to survive. Oh, yeah, right, I need to select a difficulty and, um, you know, normally when I start a new game, I always, you know, like to start on the easier settings, just, you know, until I have learned how to play the game. Uh, however, I have been told that apparently in this game you can't change the difficulty in-game, which is kind of weird. <laughs> so whatever I pick now, I, I have to uh, keep until the end. Um, however, um, after, after hearing this, I actually did some research and apparently there is some sort of mod that lets you change the difficulty. It's actually not so much a mod, um, more like a way to hack the game files and you know basically and change the <laughs> lines in in the in the script of the game. So it would be kind of finicky, but apparently it is possible. So I think I am going to stick with my usual uh, way of dealing with things, and I'm going to start on the easiest level and if this turns out to be utterly boring then I will try the weird uh, script hacking mod and I will increase the difficulty but then again you know people also told me that the combat is kind of clunky in this game and not that much fun so you know if this doesn't work and I can't actually change this I would rather be stuck with an easy difficulty than with one that is too difficult and then I'm stuck with a combat that I don't like and it just frustrates me. So, yeah, I'm sorry if you wanted me to pick something difficult. I'm going with Novice and if it's too easy, I will try to, you know, use the mod to change change it to intermediate probably. So yeah, let's let's go with easy. Select control mode, mouse preferred, featuring an easily controlled smart isometric camera, recommended for casual gamers and those wanting a more strategic overview of battles. Control mode can be changed at any time during the game. Keyboard and mouse controlled, featuring a dynamic OTS camera. I guess that means over the shoulder? Recommended for experienced gamers and those who want to get closer to the action. Control mode can be changed at any time during the game. Well, apparently this one can actually be changed, so um, this shouldn't be a problem. Um, I, I I don't know when when I played an isometric game for the last time, so I think I should be fine with the over-the-shoulder camera. Even if it says 
I, I didn't I didn't realize that this is recommended for experienced gamers. And again, this game is kind of old, so at the time when it came out, I guess isometric was still the way to go. <laughs> I don't know. I'm I'm going to pick this one. It should be fine. And here we go. Care Morhan exterior. The Northern Kingdoms nursed their wounds for five years after the Great War. Plague and famine raged, the death toll unknown. A few surviving elven and dwarven units sought refuge amidst forests, where they prepared for a final, desperate fight. Abominable beasts ruled backwoods, highways, and former battlefields alike. In cities and villages, folk were left wondering, what had happened to the Witchers? The Blue Mountains in the north of Kedwin. The year 1270. Five years after the Great War. going on here? This doesn't start out that well. <laughs> I mean, the game, uh, the graphics aren't that bad for a game almost 10 years old, so... I almost expected to see worse. Where am I? Everything's all right. I've no idea where you've been. The important thing is you're alive and among friends. Though you look like you just left your grave. I remember nothing. <laughs> We'll speak soon enough. We're nearing Kaer Morhen. Well, that sucks. I gotta say, they're, they're trying to go for quite the cinematic feel here, you know, the camera movement and the lighting and the music. I, I like that. We're home. Leo. Get Triss. Your time nears its end, <laughs> witches. Enjoy things while you can. <laughs> Who the fuck are you? Why are you under our drawbridge? Wrong! You missed the parry! <laughs> I keep repeating this. Pirouette always followed by a back cross parry. Always! Barely two days have passed since they found you. Mm-hmm. I owe my recovery to you. Thank you, Triss. Remember anything? Not much. Look below. I know the moves. Pirouette, parry, cut. I 
I can't explain it, but I feel a bond when we speak. <laughs> I know you are important. Geralt, we... <gasps> Right, there's a creepy guy behind the drawbridge. Somebody should I look into think. that. Time flows slowly at Kermorin. Ha! It worked! Not bad. Take a rest. What do you think, Geralt? Is he ready for the path? How am I supposed to know? I don't remember thing. Wait for the rest. He's alone. The professor promised 50 orans for every freak we kill. <laughs> He's mine! Vesemir! We got company! <laughs> I'm shutting the gate! Geralt, grab a sword off the training forms. All right, so they put me right, right into battle. All right, picking up items, move the cursor over the sword and left click to equip. Okay, where's the sword? All right, attacking. Left click on an enemy to attack. Tip hostile characters have red vitality indicators, friendly characters have green vitality indicators. <laughs> okay. So, um, left click, right? So where are the enemies? Um, over the shoulder camera movement. In the over the shoulder OTS mode, move using WSAD keys, rotate the camera by moving your mouse. Okay, this, this <laughs> tutorial is very rudimentary. Press and hold shift to unlock and freely move the cursor. Okay. Switch to other camera modes by pressing F1 or F2. Alright, okay, you are, you are a bad guy, right? So, let's left click on him. Oh, I see, the, the red uh, circle at their feet is their health bar. Alright. Alright, so far so well. So I'll slay you like a dog. Um, not in the tutorial mission, I don't think so. <laughs> okay, are there any more bad guys? You're pathetic. All right. How do you feel? Fine. Anyone know who the intruders are? Ordinary bandits would never attack Kermoran. That we know, Marigold. You could try some of your famous magic. In due time, Lambert. Enough! <laughs> we need to check the other possible passages to the upper courtyard. Okay. Can I, like, loot uh, people? Oh, it doesn't look like it. Anyway, let me, let me follow all these guys. So many new names that I uh, have to remember now. Who would be foolish enough to attack us? I don't know. But I, I'm, just, I'm just going to follow you, right? Um... Entering new region, Bastion, okay. <laughs> What's happening? They're trying to break down the gate! They won't get anywhere without a battering ram. <laughs> well, they have... Shit! What is something. that? A frightener. One mean beast. <laughs> Savola. I know him. A mage as ambitious as he is insane. <laughs> so we have mean beasts, insane mages. They're coming up here. Well. Get ready. There's more. They're entering the upper courtyard. The one in glasses is the professor. Murder for hire. Hmm. I sense magic. There's a sorcerer among them. Professor, you know the way. Get to it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure 
pretty crafty design, some of these guys. <laughs> the professor is wanted in Redania, Tamaria, and Kedwin. A real maggot. I don't recognize the sorcerer. Marigold, I'm interested in whether you can disarm Savola. The rest is witch's work. I'll try. They're coming. The Frightener is very dangerous, but it's vulnerable to loud noises. The bells in the upper courtyard. Exactly. Esco, Lambert, you'll help me stop the Frightener and the bandits. Leo, stay behind us. Geralt, you open the gate to the upper courtyard. When we're there, Triss can stop Savola and his pet while we prepare to deal with the Professor and the Unknown Mage. Mm -hmm. I'll figure something out. Let's do this. Bleed them a bit down here before withdrawing. Geralt, follow the wall and break through to the tower where there's a passage to the upper courtyard. Alone? They're just bandits. The one might be infamous. You must open the gate. We'll be waiting. Good luck, Wolf. Okay. So, follow the minimap marker to find a quest objective. Tip left click on the map icon or press the M key to view a map of your current location. Okay. Um, I can work with that. Ah, I see. Run here. <laughs> and what is this? Gate winch. Okay, okay. Let's do this. Oh, uh, guy I have to kill. Alright. Um, chaining attacks. Chain attacks kill enemies more efficiently. Left click only when the cursor changes into a flaming sword. Tip chaining attacks require precise timing. Clicking too soon will disrupt the attack, and clicking too late will restart the attack sequence. Alright. Oh, I see. So it's not just blind button mashing. Okay. Um, let's try to. Ooh, lots, lots of enemies. Lots of enemies. Okay, who wants to go first? Well, you are dead. Okay, I, I think I can get used to this. Um. I'm just I'm just following the trail of enemies. So you are next. You all look kind of the same. You know that. <laughs> You'll regret the death. <laughs> I didn't even let you finish your taunt. All right. Yeah, you're trying to attack me from behind, but like I said, I'm not going to die in a tutorial mission. There we go. So... I probably don't want to fall into the hole. Let's try to get up here. This is still the right way, isn't it? Um... I don't know, honestly, but... <laughs> let's, let's just continue. Combat style, fast style. Use a fast style to, defeal, to, to defeat agile opponents. Switch to this style by left-clicking on the cat icon or by pressing X. The cat icon? Oh! Ah, this is the cat icon. Or by pressing X. Let's press X. There we go. Yep, this is pretty fast. I... I see that. Combat style, strong style. Use a strong style to defeat larger armored opponents. Switch to this style by left clicking on the wolf icon or by pressing Y. I see. So you're somebody who requires a strong style. Let's oh do this. Nice. Okay, okay. Let's continue. Active pause. Press the spacebar to toggle active pause mode. Oh, okay. This is uh, for combat pause. Well, I don't think I'm going to need this right now. Oh, you're you're a small guy, so die, bastard! I'm going to. So, so what am I supposed to do if two different enemies attack me? I mean, this is definitely somebody for the strong style, right? So, I have to pick one target and then deal with them one by one, right? Okay, done. Oh, look at all these archers down here. What are you for? Run when you had the chance. 
Okay, okay, I I got somewhere. Ah, uh, unsafe building. <laughs> Strategically well timed building collapse. No way through here. Follow me. Back to Savola. Okay. Um so Oh hi, uh you need strong start. I still have a strong start. Okay, let's do this. Uh, yeah, I kinda have to focus on that icon all the time to make sure I'm Um There is stuff in here. Okay, you are getting the fast style. There we go. I can't move this cauldron, it's too heavy. Maybe if I use some magic. I don't know how to use magic, so... Um, joke's on me. There's a barrel here. Oh, this is loot. Flint, common item. Used to light a fire, single use only. Food, mutton leg. Restores vitality. It can also be sold or given to someone. Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess I'll take it. And, uh, let's kill this guy first. Alright. And, archer guy. Don't run away from me. That's better. Okay, um, let me get my bearings again. So... I need to go to the gate wench? Is this... is this right? Oh, I can! I can loot stuff! Oh, Cadwini and Stout. Weak alcohol. I'll take it. This... this is starting to develop into my kind of game. I can loot alcohol. Yeah, I, I still can't use the cauldrons. Um... What about the bell? Apparently they don't... Oh, well, I can use it. Doesn't really help me though. <laughs> okay, um... Let me, let me try to find out where... Where I have to go next. Oh, this is where I came from. Oh, good grief. Game already... Game just started, I'm already lost. Okay, okay, I think this is this is the way I want to go. So can I ah I can draw my sword like this. Alright. Yeah, what what am I supposed to do if I uh, target so many enemies at once? That's kinda difficult. Mess with me and die. <laughs> Your trash talking could use a little bit of work, though. Alright, you are dead. And so are you. The archers, they like to run away from me, though. Okay, I must open the gate. Using objects, left click on the wench to open the gate. Press Alt to highlight all usable objects nearby. You cannot use objects and doors during combat. Okay. Well, I do I do want to loot him though. Another mutton leg. I'll take it. Okay, here we go. People are waiting for me. There we go. Gate opened. <laughs> Yeah, um... <laughs> it's like a giant mantis. And, and another strategic building collapse. Damn it, Geralt. It's a miracle you're alive. You could have told me about the stairs. 
Lambert and Eskel were supposed to fix them yesterday. We're not Masons. No matter. The Professor and the other mage must be hiding in the keep. Face the truth, Witchers. They're here to rob you. Trace, child, we have nothing of value. Some good steel, snow fox pelts? I mean the laboratory and you know it. Someone wants your famed mutagens. You're jumping to conclusions. Truth may be right. We need to find out what they want. <laughs> One thing at a time. We shouldn't turn our backs on a strong mage leading a frightener. And you can't let the bandits in the lab. Right as usual, Triss. Geralt, you've dealt with mages. Find out what this one wants. Leo will guide you. Just reconnaissance, or...? No one will be sorry if some of them lose their heads. You'll manage, <laughs> Wolf. Just remember Leo's with you. Okay. I can handle this. We'll see what's happening inside and be back. Take these potions just in case. Drink the Thunderbolt now and keep Swallow for when you need healing. I'll be able to tell you how they work. We'll make sure no one else gets inside. Triss, stay with us in case Savola has any new ideas. Alright. Inventory. To access items, open the inventory by left clicking on the satchel icon or by pressing I. Right click on the Thunderbolt potion to use it. Drag and drop, drop potions into quick slots to create shortcuts in the main screen, providing quicker access to potions. Well, this all seems pretty familiar. So, let me have a look at this. Um, what exactly I'm, I'm supposed to use Thunderbolt, right? Swallow and Thunderbolt. Right click to use. There we go. Potion effects. Move the cursor over an effect icon to see more information about the effect. Oh, this one over there. Active effect icons appear in the ring around the medallion. So, can I... Oh, damage inflicted increased by 100%. Dodge efficiency reduced by 50%. Parry efficiency reduced by 50%. So, basically, I do more damage, but I'm not as good at dodging and... Uh, Reflect deflecting stuff. Okay, okay. So, um, right. Where's the guy that is supposed to come with me? Where did you go to? Gate to the Citadel interior. But, yeah, I'm looking, looking at the state of this place. I'm willing to believe that these guys aren't, like, masons. Ah... <laughs> uh. Okay. Look, look at the birdies. They actually fly away when I come close. It's kind of funny. Alright, there's a guy that I'm supposed to meet with. Alright, Leo. Ready, Geralt? Mm-hmm. Is this your first real fight? No, but I've never killed a man. <laughs> Stay close. Geralt, I'm waiting. Lead okay. the way. This isn't disconcerting at all. Uh, speaking of which, uh, can I actually... I can save the game. Do I have a, a key for... Oh, I can't save now because I'm in battle, I, I suppose. I need to I need to figure out if there's a, a key for, you know, a quick save. Also, do I want to... So what do these ah. potions do? Thunderbolt is a combat potion. Your body will tense up. Adrenaline will course. Any side effects? Makes it tough to focus on defense. Yeah. And a <laughs> hangover. Swallow is a healing potion. Thanks. Okay. Uh, I understand. What should I expect from the mage? Hard to say. I know neither him nor his specialty, and I don't like the situation. Meaning? <laughs> Someone powerful, capably disguised, helped Savola. Without that, I would have conquered his defenses in the lower courtyard. Could it have been the mage we saw? Unlikely. Geralt, please, don't challenge him. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see, okay. Uh, let me talk to these guys as well. Get it done quickly and you may be back in time for the Frightener. Will do. What did Vesemir mean about me and sorcerers? You killed a few in your time. <laughs> Sorceresses are a separate matter. You have a weakness for them, and it's mutual. Marigold cried when she told us of your disappearance. She's not all bad, though too smart for her own good, sometimes. We'll talk when things calm down. Drink your Thunderbolt potion, and explore the keep. Alright, 
I have already did the Thunderbolt thing. Beware of the professor. I've heard he's a professional. Ended 17 lives. Alright. <laughs> Sorry. I know you fought bandits and mages before. Uh, <laughs> remember your potions. Alright, thank you. That, that's a, a tough bunch of motherfuckers around here, right? So, <laughs> let's, let's go, go inside, right? Care more on interior. Alright, we're actually saving now. That, that's good to know. I've heard all of Dandelion's ballads about you. Lambert tells me I'll never be as fast as a real witcher. <laughs> but I managed to hit him during training today. You beat Lambert? Yeah, we were fencing on the floor pegs when that strange storm came. Lambert looked away. I did a pirouette, hit him right in the gut. <laughs> uh, he didn't fall, and then he beat me. You'll make a good swordsman yet. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Every time Lambert beats me, he says I have potential. Well, uh, that's what a trainer is supposed to do, right? Give you some encouragement. So, well, look at this place. It has seen better times, though. Like I said, uh, maybe, maybe you should try to find a mason to repair some of this stuff. Evading enemies. In OTS mode, double tap a directional key to dodge enemies. Alright. Uh, let's see. Oh, I see. Ah, nice. Um, right, uh, you will need to get the heavy style. There we go. Um, ah, this is how I dodge. Okay. Mess with me and die. Um, I don't think so. Okay, I, I, I understand the dodge thing. Let me help you with this, Leo. There we go. All right. Chicken. There's a chicken over there. <laughs> oh, it's on the other side of this thing. All right. Leo, Leo, wait, wait. Don't, don't, don't run away, please. We're supposed to stay together. Combat styles, group style. The group style is most effective against groups of weak opponents. Switch to this style by left clicking on the griffin icon or by pressing C. Oh, so there's yet another style. Alright, C it is. So I'm guessing um, I'm supposed to use the group style now, right? So let's do this. Yeah, I think this. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is working nicely. What tough does! <laughs> You're not really Should have tough. Run when you had the chance. Um, oh, that guy's still alive. Well, let's finish him off together, Leo. Uh, that guy got his head cut off. Uh, Orange. Oh, this is like the uh, currency in this place. Okay, and more flint. I'll take it. Uh, sure. Give me all the loot. A ham sandwich! <laughs> okay! <laughs> Is this actually something I can... I don't think so. Oh, hang on a second. This is... Yeah, more money. This door is locked. These stairs lead to the lab. Follow me. <laughs> the energy you annexed from the Circle of Elements is enough to stop the Witchers? You tremble, yet you complain Savola would have them all, leaving none for you. Did the sight of a single Witcher, White Wolf himself, instill fear? I hope so. The aforementioned considered right? dead I might add is a known killer. I'll gladly challenge him. Leo, stand back. Come on, Professor. Time is essential. I wield the power of the Circle of Elements. They are no threat. Mm. 
Back to work. I want the mutagens ready for teleportation in 15 minutes. Our witches shan't trouble us. Oh dear. So... We're cut off! <laughs> the stairs are blocked! The magic barrier looks solid. We need Triss. They're robbing us. Geralt, clear the passage upstairs. Use a sign. A sign? The Ard. I can't do it since I broke my fingers training along the gauntlet. Cast the Ard at the debris. I don't remember the signs. <laughs> Let's go to the Circle of Elements, a source of the power. You need to try and learn the Ard. All right. So, well, how convenient that I have amnesia, so everyone can explain the important stuff to me again. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm just going to follow you, Leo. Oh, Circle of Whispering Stones? Left click on an elemental stone to learn a sign. Alright. I'm going to do it. Success? We'll see in a minute. <laughs> I knew it would work. Let's get back before Lambert kills the Frightener himself. The art sign is a telekinetic force useful for clearing obstructed pathways or for knocking back opponents. Right click on the target to cast a sign. Okay. Oh. Whetstone. Take it. I kinda missed looting uh, from Mass Effect. <laughs> so, Leo, you already um, far, far too, far too ahead. Um, where, where did you go? Seriously. All right, Leo. So, oh, I, I'm supposed to use my art sign here now. Oh, nice. What did you learn? The bandits are in the lab, searching for <laughs> something. The mage used the circle of elements to create a magic barrier. The plague! You're all children. Why didn't you mention the circle? <laughs> Triss, child. It didn't seem important. If the mage aligned with the circle, he can create a stable portal through which he'll travel to anywhere on the continent, taking your equipment with him. All right, we made a mistake. But you said the mage was harmless. I said I didn't know him. I think we should protect the lab above all. Don't panic, Marigold. We know you'd like to see our witch's secrets. Vesemir, if that idiot doesn't shut it, I'll... <laughs> Enough! Lambert, stop baiting Triss. Show her some respect. Triss, if we go to the lab, they'll have us surrounded. We know tactics. Maybe we should split up. Geralt's right. We need to protect the lab and kill the Frightener. Who goes where? Only I can break the barrier. I'm going inside. Vesemir, I'll stay and handle the Frightener and Savola. What about you, Geralt? We may both need your help. Oh. The lab is important. I'm going with Triss. I'll handle the Frightener with Vesemir. Ooh. Hmm. I don't know. But apparently the lab is important, so... Um... I'm, I'm, this guy looks pretty tough. I'm, I'm sure he can handle the Frightener. I'm going to protect the lab. Right? Let's do this. The lab is important. I'm going with Triss. Me too. It's decided then. Eskel and Lambert will stay with me. Savola just cast a spell. Something's happening. <laughs> the ground is shaking. Feel it? They're breaking through. Watch out! Oh dear. Quickly, defend the laboratory. Okay, good luck, uh, you two. <laughs> I hope I hope you were able to manage. All right, we're back inside. This could be a hard fight, Geralt. Take this potion. Witchers call it the Tawny Owl. It restores endurance. Very useful when fighting mages. Thanks. Let's go. Okay, but um. 
let's let's uh, pause the game here because um, I mean there was an autosave right before this cutscene, so I think this is maybe a good time to make a cut here and end the first episode. Well, lots of stuff happened in this first episode, and they you know throw you right into your combat tutorial apparently. And yeah, I suppose in the next episode we will try to protect the lab and the important stuff that is, is inside that lab. So yeah. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this first episode of The Witcher. Um, I so far I'm I'm actually you know quite quite liking the game. I mean, it it looks slightly old-fashioned. The voice acting is a bit awkward, <laughs> but to be honest, I think I can roll with it. So um, I'm looking forward to to co uh, continue this in the next episode. So thank you for watching and see you again next time.